hey everyone welcome to welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are doing my that girl perfume collection i included some perfumes in this video that make me smell like that girl for like a couple of minutes couple of seconds and then some of them that make me smell like that girl throughout the entire day but without further ado if you want to know what perfumes make me smell like that girl let's go ahead and get into it okay so for my first one i have this guest double dare fragrance i got this from nordstrom rack for like 10 to 12 dollars which is absolutely crazy because the original price was like 50 something dollars i believe and i got it for like 10 so here's what it looks like i hope you guys can see it has like this really cute chain i really love the packaging of this so much i think it just looks really good sitting up on my um counter the fragrance notes are white floral vanilla citrus fruity amber green fresh and sweet now i'm getting the fragrance notes from um i think it's called um fragrant fragrantica i don't know it's like this really popular like fragrance.com where you can like see a bunch of um fragrance notes and a lot of different um perfumes on there so that's where i'm getting it from but yeah this is a guest perfume this is my first one and i would say personally this is not the worst perfume i've ever had and it's not the best perfume i've ever had it has a really beautiful smell it really reminds me of like something bougie like something that you wear like if you're going out like it just smells really bougie to me and i think personally the fragrance note that really sticks out for this one is definitely that amber citrus that one i feel like mainly describes this one the most but it's saying the most is white floral but i don't know i'm really smelling that amber in this one so this one i really like if i'm feeling like bougie if i'm going out to eat or something and i just get like really dressed up this one is my favorite for that time and let me see oh this one is another one of my favorites y'all this is my favorite one of my favorites not my favorite but i love this one this is the kim kardashian um gold perfume i believe is this the gold one i think this is the gold one i doesn't have the name on this one but i've used quite a lot of this and i absolutely love it if this is not the right one please comment down below because i'd hate to say the wrong thing but i'm going based off this picture from my ipad and it looks like gold on the screen but i don't know i hope this is the right one but regardless i love this kim kardashian perfume i got it for like 20 dollars at marshall's and i had no idea that she came up with perfume but i am in love with this scent um this yes this one is the gold one it actually says it right here on the bottle um the main fragrance notes are amber citrus woody warm spicy powdery patchouli musky fresh spicy and soft spicy y'all i don't know what they're talking about but this just smells really good um this is one of my like everyday type of fragrances like the last one is more for like if i'm feeling bougie i wouldn't wear it every single day but this one to me is like my everyday smell like i really like this one to me this fragrance has a really long lasting like it does really good with my um what is it my what do they call it hold on I, i'm gonna be back as soon as i turn off the camera it came to mind this is really great with my chemistry and i think that's why it lasts such a long time i've had mixed reviews about the gold perfume but i think overall you should definitely try it out because it's really cheap and you get a lot this one is a 3.4 fluid ounce which is amazing for 20 dollars so i highly recommend this one this one like i said is like my everyday perfume um i can wear it for any occasion whether it's like bougie or casual or just like you know just chilling just going out somewhere to run errands this one is perfect because for me it lasts a really long time and then let's see oh this one y'all can already tell i love this one i got this one at marshall's and one of my haul videos and i think it was like eight dollars and it is a i don't know it is a really small fluid ounce but it's so cute it's in the shape of blue jeans so like here's the butt part and it has angie on it and then on the front here is the front of the jeans this one is so good it is so good this one does extremely well with my chemistry it lasts all day literally i can't really say if it'll last all day for everyone else but i know for me that this one is just my go-to i have to find another one but every time i go to marshall's i can't find it anymore the fragrance notes are peach mandarin and apple and it says the middle notes are rose jasmine and lavender and it has a warm base of musk and amber 
now the reason this is my favorite is because it has like a really sweet scent to it and it just really sticks out it's really that peach mandarin apple scent like it's perfect for the summertime because all the fruits and it's just so strong like i love it it lasts on my clothes for a long time like this one and the packaging is super cute like with the blue jeans and it has angie on it now this um brand is i don't want to say it wrong but it's jean arthur's jeans tonic angie i hope i'm saying that right i'll probably put the name somewhere on the um screen but there's like other ones other than angie this one is just called angie so i had to get my hands on more of these because i am obsessed with that one um what is our next one? Oh, okay my rihanna one this one i got during christmas time for 20 dollars i think at marshall's this one is the actual perfume the packaging i think it speaks for itself the packaging is so pretty i love it and i was not expecting this but also i should have been because it's rihanna i mean i should have known but this is the rihanna i think it's called rebel perfume and the fragrance notes are plum peach red berries and it has a mix of violet, turbo rose, hibiscus, and coconut, musk, vanilla, amber, and patchouli. I don't know if that's right, but I like this one. In my opinion, the Kim Kardashian in this one are my like everyday type of scents. Like just no matter what the occasion is, it's perfect. Um, I just feel like these are just me, like my signature scents. And the Angie one, when I want to feel like more fruity wise, but these are giving like that musk and sandalwood type of scent and these two are like my go-to they're both black okay you guys sorry my camera cut off um the next one i got for christmas it is the ysl black opium one this one is going to cost about a hundred dollars plus depending on the fluid ounce this one is the 1.6 fluid ounce which i don't know maybe i'm crazy but this just seems like more than 1.6 fluid ounces but maybe it's just because i haven't really been using it because it costs so much money this is my most popular and most expensive fragrance and it is the white cell black opium the key notes or main accords are vanilla coffee sweet warm spicy white floral soft spicy fruity woody and powdery now the best way to describe this one is like coffee scent i really like coffee scents i don't know if i'm the only one but i really like smelling like coffee i love walking into like coffee shops and smelling the coffee and like starbucks i just really like that scent and i go for them whether it's like for my room like some type of like home type of fragrance or just like as a perfume so that is why the black opium one appealed to me and story time okay, so i can't remember if i did the story time or not because my camera keeps cutting off but basically i wore the ysl perfume which is right here i wore it in the sample size one day um in a gas station and there was like a couple people ahead of me and this guy was like whatever you're wearing back there like keep wearing it and i was like a couple people back and i was like wait you can smell me you can smell me all the way from the front but yeah he told me he told me that he liked it so much he even asked me what i was wearing so if you want a really strong perfume black opium is your girl okay now in comparison to the ysl i would wear that one only on special occasions just because of the price and though i really like coffee since i don't think i want to smell like coffee every single day and if i had to pick i don't even honestly think i'd wear the ysl like on special occasions that much maybe every now and then but mainly in the morning time because mornings remind me of coffee and i think that that's the appropriate time at least in my opinion because it smells like coffee so i want to kind of like go with it in the morning times when like coffee is like more drink i don't know if that's just me but i like this one but i think i want a different one just because this one to me isn't an everyday type of scent in my opinion but it does smell really good if you are looking for like a that girl perfume because it's really gonna like make people smell you another one of my favorites which i'm super glad that i picked up because i honestly wasn't gonna pick it up but is is the tommy girl i feel like every girl should have this one honestly the tommy girl is is very beautiful like i would wear this for like interviews really every single day it's giving very much classy literally it's giving classy vibes like if you were to dress up put on heels and or maybe it's like your graduation or something this is the one this is really gonna make you smell like that girl that's why it's literally called tommy girl because you're literally gonna smell like that girl with this one the fragrance notes are citrus floral white floral fruity rose green 
powdery woody and fresh spicy i don't know what that fresh spicy is because i don't know mm -mm. but this one smells very powdery so if you are someone who loves powdery scents and i just discovered this about myself from reading the fragrance notes i love um powdery scents i always smell like this every single day if i had the option to because it's very powdery it literally reminds me of like baby lotion just like really soft type of stuff that's why it's giving me like classy vibes so tommy girl 100 percent definitely go to marshall's for tommy girl because that's where i got mine and this is um i think a 1.6 fluid ounce 1.7 fluid ounce and i am obsessed with this one i'm gonna get a bigger one because this this is just so beautiful and powdery and i love this one for any occasion any time of day i would wear this one 100 percent um another one is this one is the Juicy Couture Peace Love. Um, what is it? Is it the Old Day Pop Bomb? No, this is just a uh, perfume. I got this one also from Marshalls. It was twenty dollars. And let me tell y'all, the packaging is super cute. And there is so much in here. Like I think this is a three point four fluid ounce. I'm not entirely sure, but I really want to say that it is because there is so much in here. Yeah, I don't see it, but there's so much in here. So I highly recommend it because you're getting a lot for your money. For $20, it's name brand Juicy Couture. And there's so much in here. The packaging is cute and it smells amazing. Um, The fragrance notes are floral, green, fruity, sweet, powdery, yellow floral, white floral, musk, and that fresh spicy again, whatever that means. But honestly, I spray this one. Like literally, I wear this at least three times a week. Cause it just smells super powdery and super fruity but not too much fruity more on the powdery side so i really like this one it's just like a very neutral scent you could wear this anytime i could see it as like classy vibes like very special occasions and then also like an occasion that is just like i'm just running errands you know and this one will make you like head turn and stuff like that so i really like this one a lot and i just i don't know i personally i'll be honest I'm really obsessed with Juicy Couture's fragrances. Like, they smell so good. I know a lot of people think they smell like old people, but I personally really like them, especially the Peace Love, because given that fruity, powdery scent. So I like that one for every day. I feel like I couldn't get tired of it just because it's, like, fruity and powdery. Um, This one is um, Oi Day Juicy Extra Concentrated. I don't know much about this brand, if I'm being completely honest. I got it because... It was on sale at Marshalls, I want to say, for like $19, I think. And this is when I first started getting perfumes. So if I seen a perfume and it was discounted, I just got it. I don't know anything about this brand. But I like it because it is extra concentrated. And this one does like last a really long time. But I will be honest, it's not my favorite scent. Yeah, it's just not my favorite scent. It's really giving alcohol vibes and just extra concentrated vibes. Like there's really nothing too good to it it says the main accords are patrolly fruity champagne woody amber fresh warm spicy green and earthy i don't know y'all it's really just giving alcohol to me and this is a 1.7 fluid ounce i would not purchase this one but it kind of has like it has a strong scent to it so if you want to make heads turn and be like oh what is that you can use this one but i'm gonna be honest with you i don't think it is like that fruity just like smell good type of perfume but it's definitely like gonna make people smell it 100 percent because it's extra concentrated and it has like that alcohol smell to it but it's nothing like the juicy couture i just talked about where it's all in like the fruity side and like powdery side this one just smells like extra concentrated perfume literally there's nothing special about that one honestly um this one is the bath and body works you're the one I feel like the name says enough right there. It's going to make you smell like the one. The fragrance notes are a luxurious blend of soft rose, winter woods, and a drop of strawberry nectar. This one to me smells exactly like strawberries and rose, literally like right on the nail. So I really like this one. My only complaint is that this smell, I mean, it sprays so direct. Like there's no type of mist. Like it is like direct. Like you got to back it up just to spray it so i don't like that about it but other than that i think personally it doesn't last a long time 
it does do really good with my chemistry and everything like that but it just does not last that long at all so i mean it's gonna make you smell good but you might have to reapply it a couple of times in the car or wherever you are but it's gonna make heads turn you're gonna smell really good smell like strawberries smell like roses i really like this one um this is a 1.7 fluid ounce and it goes for like 40 bucks i don't think it's worth the 40 bucks because for me it don't last that long you got to keep spraying and it's only a 1.7 fluid ounce but i got mine during the sas sell time so it's only 11 dollars. so for 11 dollars, i'm not mad at it at all um this one is very uh, very new everyone be talking about the ariana grande perfume so i decided to get on board and this is the moonlight by ariana grande i'm gonna be honest um you guys can't really see it because of my camera there we go i'm not a big fan of this moonlight perfume now when i went they also had the candy one i don't know exactly what it's called but it's like in like the pink packaging and i decided to get moonlight because the packaging looked more like me but no um i don't know this one is a one point no literally a one fluid ounce and it cost me twenty dollars I just am not in love with this one. The fragrance notes are rich black currant, juicy plum, and then fluffy. Okay, I hope you guys got the fragrance notes. My camera keeps cutting off. But I think the main Oh my gosh. The main reason why I don't like this perfume is because the top fragrance is that rich black currant and juicy plum. I don't really care for plum scents at all. I don't want to smell like a plum in my opinion. So I think that's why I don't like it, but it to me also doesn't have that long of um lasting of a scent it's one of those you have to keep applying over and over and over and over again and you only get one fluid ounce for twenty dollars so you know it's not gonna last that long and you're just in my opinion wasting your money maybe i need to do like some type of like combination with it because a lot of people like it and i just personally don't understand but maybe it's just because I'm not a plum and a black currant type of girl. I'm more of like a powdery scent. And I like like apples and green apple type of scents and citrusy scents. And yeah, that's what I like. So I think that's why I don't really go with it too much. And this other one is also Juicy Couture. And this is the Culture Culture one. I think that really all the... Um, juicy couture perfumes are very great starter perfumes because they're super cheap and you get a lot for your money and they smell like really strong and they're long lasting so i love this one i'm trying to find the fluid ounces okay i'm gonna go ahead and guess that this is probably like a 1.3 1.7 fluid ounce and i got it for 20 bucks the fragrance notes are mandarin orange okay that's another one that i like any type of orange fragrances which really any fruit that are like light oh excuse me i love those um african wildflower grapefruit um jasmine it has plum in it honeysuckle amber creamy sandalwood and vanilla that's a lot but i really like this fragrance i had looked it up to find the fragrance notes and a lot of people said it smells like old lady and i am just not seeing that or maybe it does not smell like old lady to me maybe maybe i'm an old lady at heart because to me it doesn't smell like old lady it smells very mm, let me see when would i wear this i wear this all the time i literally had to go get this out of my car like just to do this video i had to get it out of my car because i wore it today so really anytime i don't think personally i'd probably pick it as much for like a special occasion graduation dinner type of vibe but like movies like hanging out um running errands going to work i would definitely wear it because it's just like the vibes that it's giving but nothing too crazy where it's like oh i want to wear this like on my graduation day you know what i'm saying it's very good but it's not great to where i want to wear it for like those type of occasions and to me, this one also is very great with my chemistry. I feel like a lot of the Juicy Couture ones just are. I don't know what it is, but I love them. And they last extremely long time. Oh my gosh. That extra concentrated is still on my hand. And it is so concentrated, I can just smell it like from far away. It's messing with every other perfume that I am smelling. 
um this one i didn't get the fragrance one for i actually forgot but this one is the vince camuto perfume i like this one i used to spray this every single day but i'm running kind of low and it was 20 bucks so i'm kind of trying to um minimize my usage of this one i'm gonna spray it because i want to try to describe it for you guys. oh okay i already know it smells very powdery this one smells very powdery and i really like it this one cost me twenty dollars and i think it is a one fluid ounce the packaging super cute this one is also one of those that lasts me a long time and is very great with my chemistry but i think now that i'm like actually going through the fragrance notes anything powdery and like mandarin orange type sandalwood vanilla type is like very great with my chemistry and this one has like powdery vibes so i like this one a lot if you are someone who likes powdery vibes i recommend it this one is one i would wear to dinner because it's very soft and light but like i said graduation you know running errands and everything else like that yes movies yes um it just smells really good this one lasts a long time too in my opinion in comparison to some of these um this one i just decided to put in here this is the mix bar tangerine squeeze hair and body mist this is a five fluid ounce one i got this from marshall's for $4.99 the original price is nine dollars this one does not last that long to me but i do like using it as a hair mist because in my hair i think it lasts a long time but on my body on my clothes it just do not last as long don't know why that is yeah it literally smells like um mandarin oranges it literally smells like mandarin oranges i think that smells really good maybe i'm i don't know what it is about oranges but it's just me i don't know it just smells so good matter of fact my boyfriend's about to come over so i really like this a lot <laughs> i want to try more mixed bar fragrances so comment down below if you have any this is my only one and i don't even have the perfume this is the hair and body mist I went to get this because Liv and Ash found it at hers and I ended up finding it at mine's months later but I think we went through all of the um fragrances of mine that make me feel like that girl smell like that girl and then I included like some of them that are my favorites but maybe you guys wanted to hear about them so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you again for 700 subscribers um my goal is to get to a thousand and thanks to you guys i'm almost there so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope to see my next one